What usually happens in the mornings is bike banter, which bike banter happens on a consistent basis on these trips. Bike banter is just us talking about what we're going to do, what bikes we're going to buy in the future, what the bike manufacturers can fix. I mean, it's just, you know, bench racing, but, you know, we're not racing, so we're going to bike banter. Yeah, this thing, you get a rock kicked up in there, you're doing damage. It's going to cost you money. Well, me and Fred were looking at it, we're like, you know, the pipes right here, the yeah. oil filters right here. And from, like, yeah. Yeah. if we, uh, if you go through a rock garden, I mean. Yeah, you're done. Hundreds of thousands of dollars are but talked about being like spent in bike banter. But history has shown when you get back home, no money gets spent. The next morning, we wrapped things up, packed our bikes up, and we were going to start heading our way to El Rosario. As you can see here, there was another group of riders who were exploring the area. There's many of tour companies down in Baja that can take you on a trip. Ooh, Baja Dogs. Did anybody start an Instagram page called Baja Dogs yet? I'm still waiting. Hey, where are we at? We're at Mama Espinosa's, a well-known bike stop in uh, El Rosario. And is this your first time here, Mark K? Uh, yes, oh. I was passive. Wait till you go stopped. inside and see the paraphernalia and history of motorcycles. It's unbelievable. It's worth Okay, does trip. it have pictures of Johnny Camel? Because that's all I care I'm about. I'm sure there is, and then some. There might even be a Mark Kell picture there. You know, he's pretty famous out here. Well, I never stopped here. If they have a pit poster of me, then it's a pretty big deal. Let's go find out. Okay, what's good here though? What do I order? Uh, the tortilla soup, chill relleno, or huevos rancheros. I'm going chill okay. relleno. What about Ducati Dan? What does he order? He's a chili relleno guy. Oh, okay. Definitely. Definitely chili relleno. And of course, Mama Espinoza had old Johnny photos up on the wall, along with Steve Hengefield. But what was more shocking is what pulled in the parking lot as we were sitting there. Two brand new Yamaha Tenere's. Yep, I guess they do really exist. Just uh, not at my local dealers. Though I got to ride one in a parking lot a few months back. These would be the ultimate in between an adventure bike, or I should say a large adventure bike, and you know, like the XR650R or 450 dirt bike. These things, you can actually still do some single track and still feel like you're on a smaller bike. And then like in Baja, you can just jump on a highway and do 7580 at a comfortable pace. But it doesn't really matter. Like you've seen in my past videos, you can bring your Jeep, your truck, your dirt bike, your adventure bike, or even your bicycle, like supposedly Harrison Ford did the month before we were down there. Seriously, I think I'm the only one that gets all giddy when we stop at a convenience store down there. 
But staying hydrated is really important when you're riding in Baja. Baja dogs are the best characters because they really have better characters than American dogs. Yeah. American dogs are like, okay, I stay in the yard, I eat, and I listen to my master. Yes. These dogs, like, they just live the life. They're living off the land. They just, they just want love. Huh? You just want love. Oh, yeah. What's that? So, we just, uh, we're in Catavina here, and... This is like the break, right, Freddie? It's starting to get hot. It's oh, like yeah. It's hot. getting warm. And uh, we're going to get some liquid. Africa Twin, I think it's it. You could travel more, see more, do more. Uh, we just can't do whoops. So, yeah. So we're going to head uh, Alfonsina's after this. Real gorgeous landscape, Freddie, right? Oh, beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Gabe doesn't like it. Hey Gabe, what do you think about the cactus? I love cactus, they're beautiful. Beautiful. We were now close to the middle of the Baja Peninsula. And you know, you can start to see the change or at least feel the change in the weather from spring into more of the summer. It was starting to get warm and we started to shed off jacket layers. I feel as long as I'm on a Honda, yeah, that um, I'll uh, I'll be okay. You're pretty cool, Because huh? Hondas is what uh, you know. Yeah, there you go. I resent it's that. a paid commercial, right? There you go. Paid commercial. My Honda's faster than yours, though. I think because I I could just tell. Wasn't yours an 1100? Yeah, but uh, it's just faster. I'm fatter than you too, so maybe there's more weight drag. And I'm older than you, so maybe my throttle don't go. Well, mine's black. My so. throttle stop works. Oh, then yours is as fast as Gary's. Yeah. And I got tubeless. And you got tubeless. Yeah. Oh. Well, we all got here, though. Yeah. Even the KTM made it. These guys. You know what? Yeah, look at this. You know, constantly uh, berating the, uh, the KTM family, the only KTM in the family here. Well, you got that. It's just a Ducati over there. <laughs> Tallest guy on it. Gabe, are you writing a citation for somebody? Officer Gabe? <laughs> Officer Gabe. You don't have a tag. You don't have a tag. <laughs> I talked to do 90 uh, down the highway. Policia, <laughs> Policia, <laughs> Gabe. A cop. Let get you some, uh, some aviators. So look at this, we're here at Gonzaga Bay and you just can't get any better than this. You know, we're on adventure bikes, so we're able to bring more stuff, like more board shorts, right? You know, I brought my beach towel, my wetsuit, my booties. I was able to surf on the Pacific side. Now here we have our fishing poles. Freddie's gonna throw out a pole. This is just what's great about down here. You can really ride motorcycles destination to destination and really enjoy what Baja has to offer. And you only could do so much with um, 
you know, smaller dirt bike. You watched, uh, you know, me ride the XR650 and the XR400 for there for a couple years and the back pain, the backpack, not being able to carry uh, a lot of stuff is, it limits you. So now that we have, you know, <clears throat> bigger bikes with cases we could go farther and enjoy Baja even more and let's face it people in the four buys and the trucks you bring your trucks down here it's even better because you can bring like you know a mountain bike and all the other outdoor activities that you enjoy you can enjoy them here in Baja so if you liked this video smash that like button uh, to support us here, you can click the link in the description box below and get yourself a t-shirt or a hat. Subscribe. So we'll see you on the next one. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you share this video series with your friends, your families, and your riding and adventure buddies. It'll make the video go a long ways. And thanks for the support. And again, we'll see you on the next one.